Hi everyone! So today I am going to be filming a Halloween tag video and I have all the questions written down here. There's 15 of them so let's jump in before I end up rambling and talking Japanese as usual. Let's go! Question 1. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? No I haven't and I probably wouldn't because I would end up thinking my house is haunted and I wouldn't want to live here anymore so no. <laughs> Um, favourite horror monster or villain? So if we're talking monster, I would say um, probably Dracula because he's misunderstood. Vampires are like so into love and romance, I love it. But villain, probably Freddy Krueger. Go for a classic. Um, creepiest thing that's ever happened to you when being home alone? Um, okay, so this is quite scary. I don't believe in supernatural that much but this did freak me out. Basically I was home alone and this was when I had a cabin bed so I was fairly young at the time. Not like mega young otherwise I wouldn't have been home alone but you know what I mean. And it had like a desk built into it so I was sitting at my desk and I had a touch lamp but it was off at the wall. I know touch lamps go on easily but it was off at the wall and it turned on by itself. So yeah I was scared. Um, number four, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? I would, but not alone. I'm, I've always wanted to spend the night in a haunted house, but I, I'm not. Mm, I don't like being alone at the best of times. Never mind in a haunted house. That would just be no. And if I saw a spider, I would crap my pants. So no. <laughs> do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, I do. So if you don't know what your peripheral vision is, it's like when you see something out the corner of your eye. I do it all the time, constantly. Um, number six, what urban legend scares you the most? Probably Bloody Mary. I don't know that many, but that does scare me. That's when you say her name three times when looking in the mirror. Yeah, just no. Number seven, have you ever played? Yeah, I'm not saying that again, because I know I'm not standing in front of a mirror, but I'm not saying that again. BM, you know, I just said it right there. Uh, no, I've never played it and I never will. <laughs> um, number eight, do you prefer gore or thrillers? Um, so I would say I prefer thrillers, to be honest. I don't mind gore, like I love the film Saw, but I don't like paranormal as much. That does scare me, like I've never seen paranormal activity, but it's not the kind of thing that I would like. Although it is fake, it's meant to be real, but it's fake, I, I wouldn't, no, just no. Um, number nine, do you get scared easily? Yes, I get scared very easily. I'm the most jumpy person ever, so jump scares get me big time. Um, ten, you're home alone and you hear footsteps. What do you do? Pretty sure these questions are just intended to scare me because I am home alone right now. So they're already playing Bloody Mary with me and they're asking me about footsteps. See if I hear a footstep, I will cry. I will cry. But in real life, like probably I would grab my dog and leave. Or I would FaceTime my siblings. Yeah. <laughs> in a zombie apocalypse, what would you use as a weapon? Um, so I wouldn't use a gun because if you run out of bullets, you're screwed. I'd probably use, what's that thing where it's like metal, it's like a metal sphere and it has spikes and it's on a chain and you swing it and right into their head. I would use that. Can't remember what it's called. Let me know in the comments if you know what that's called. Um, number 12, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, I go to graveyards at night quite often just to chill. I love graveyards. I'm a weirdo. I get scared easily. Yeah, I can go to a graveyard at night easily. I'm a weirdo, what can I say? Um, number 13, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? So, um, as a child I would have said trick-or-treating, obviously. Now I'd probably say Halloween party because if you go trick-or-treating you need to walk about and earn your sweets by telling a joke, whereas at a Halloween party you just get to eat anyway and socialise with friends without having to do any exercise. Laziness. <laughs> um, what next? Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror? Yes I do. I can't go to sleep after watching a horror if I don't watch something happy to take my mind back off it because just no. See when I went to see Women in the Black and mm -hmm. the film Women in Black in the cinema, I had to like genuinely watch so many films to get that out of my head and it still didn't work. I had nightmares for a good week. It was awful. It's not even that scary. It's like a 12 but oh my god no. No no no. 
see when she hangs herself at the end and you see her face and it's like, no, just no. I don't know how many times I've said just no in this video. Um, and number 15, while watching horrors, do you shout at the people, hide behind the pillow or fall asleep? So I'm definitely kind of people person that like shouts at the character. I'm like, no, why would you do that? Ah! And every time it's a stereotypical horror film, I'm like, you fell over because they're idiots. I'm that kind of person when watching horror. It depends what it is though. If it's like paranormal, then I'm hiding behind a pillow or something. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this video up because it's now five minutes long of me talking, rambling and just being gibberish. Being gibberish. See? See? You know. I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with another Halloween video. Bye!